Hey everyone, we're here at day two of San Diego Comic-Con. There is so much to cover today and we've got tons of amazing interviews and sneak peeks coming your way. Tune in later for our chat with the cast of DuckTales, a look at Matt Groening's new show, the new Soul Calibur game, and so much more. We'll be streaming all weekend, so be sure to check back for more awesome coverage. Now to Destin Laguerre with the news. Reactions to the new Uncharted fan film are coming in and they're overwhelmingly positive. The short film, directed by Alan Unger, came out on the 16th to tons of praise from fans. But many wondered how Uncharted developer Naughty Dog would react to the unofficial film treatment. According to Unger, who talked about the project with IGN Live at Comic-Con yesterday, the news is good. Head writer for the Uncharted series Amy Hennig tweeted her enthusiastic support for the film. And Vice President of Naughty Dog Neil Druckmann also gave a positive shout out. Did you expect anything less from a project involving Nathan Fillion? He's so dreamy. Sad news for Rick Grimes fans, the rumors of actor Andrew Lincoln's departure from The Walking Dead are true. Creator Robert Kirkman confirmed the news in an interview with Kevin Smith taped for this year's San Diego Comic-Con. The Rick Grimes character disappearing from the show will be a huge divergence from the comics where he's currently still hanging in there. In the interview, Kirkman expressed support for Andrew Lincoln and acknowledged the hard work he's put into the show for almost a decade. Between Lincoln's exit, the season 9 time jump, and Norman Reedus' massive new contract, big changes are coming to The Walking Dead. I may be behind, but at least Glenn and Maggie are happily married where I'm at in season 4. I can't wait to see how they're doing in season 9. Microsoft announced that for the first time ever, the company's gaming division surpassed $10 billion in revenue. With a B. Billion dollars. Ten of them. Anyway, overall the company reported a 39% increase in earnings for games and services. Xbox Live, Game Pass, and Mixer are credited as major contributors to the bump in profits, as well as general growth and player engagement. At E3, Microsoft went over plans to add more game titles to Game Pass, and at Gamescom next month they're expected to unveil new console bundles and a limited edition Xbox One X. Keep on crushing it over there, Phil, and the entire Xbox team. And that's your daily fix for July 20th. Now that you're all caught up on the news, be sure to check out our San Diego Comic-Con coverage all weekend. Tomorrow will be the biggest day yet with tons of cool interviews and surprises in store. Tune in right here at IGN.com starting at noon for our live stream. With that, I'm Destin and don't forget to download the IGN app and remember you can get your fix anytime online here at IGN.